Hey there, welcome to another video. I'm going to show you something called grouping. Now, grouping is a little bit different from um, like hierarchies in that you can actually set it yourself. So let me show you an example. Let's say I have region. Okay, actually, let's put a measure in there first. I've been using sales a lot. So let's put what's discount look like? It's in percentages and yeah, not an average of that. Let's say profit. Okay, I want to see the profit. I want to see it by region. So I'm going to click this and drag it here. I don't want to double click the region simply because, oh, well, you can put it in there. Actually, my mistake, it's if you have no measure in there and you double click, it will automatically create a map for you, which is what I don't want. We're going to get to that a lot later. So let's bring in profit again. Okay, let's bring in region. Okay, now I'm going to add some granularity to that and I'm going to make it rows and columns. Okay, now as you can see here, it's organized by central, north, and south. But let's say I'm not actually grouping it in that way, right? How do I make a new grouping? So what you do is, let's just get rid of region, because we're not going to use that type of grouping, right? And I want to organize all these negative ones, okay, into its own group. So the way I can do it is either I can click here, click here, right, do it that way, or I can just, you know, highlight all the negative values. And when I hover over it, I'm going to come up with this little menu and I'm going to click on group, right? And what you'll notice both on uh, on this left side is I've created a new item, right? And within here is actually the setting of how these, how these have now been grouped. So if I bring this over into here, you'll see that they're now grouped together. As for the rest of them, it'll automatically be put under other. So let's do another grouping. Let's say I want to do the lowest value. So I'm going to sort this. Uh, I want to group this, so I'm going to hover and go group, okay? That will create another group. So how do I adjust the settings of the grouping? Well, it's very easy, Jed, if you ask. I'm going to right-click here on what I've set, and you notice it says bracket in groups. I'm going to go edit group. And in here, I'm going to move it to the left side. If I expand it, it's going to have those items in there, and I believe I can just move it to wherever I need it, okay? So I can move it into there. Apply, and it's just going to keep resetting. Now, this setting right here is the other pile, so that the ones that you haven't put into a category yet, it would be put into other, as opposed to if I take that off, right, it's going to do that, which is split them up into their own individual um, sets. I want it so that if it, it's kind of like more consistent so that they're a single group, I do this include other, apply, and it's going to pile them into one group. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.